Now, I understand, uh, Colonel Russell, that you've, you've been pretty close to this whole scandal. Um, used to be a part of the Concerned Veterans of America. Now you're actually running for Congress in Oklahoma. Um, so uh, speak a little bit from a military standpoint of how you got involved in this scandal and what it, what it means to you as, as a veteran. Well, I think uh, any of us uh, that have been closely advocating for veterans, uh, you, you can't advocate for veterans without bumping into the VA issues. Uh, it's something that's very, very important. And you know, the VA, it is supposed to be care that is there uh, for our veterans. We have a lot of issues with it, uh, largely wait times, uh, distances. Uh, you're talking about uh, not being able to fire your senior managers, uh, bonuses going uh, for non-performing uh, senior level managers. Uh, the, the list could go on, but these are some of the big issues that have to be addressed in any Accountability Act currently before Congress. There's a problem with, with uh, these upper management getting these okay. huge bonuses. What a lot of people don't realize is that the senior executive service personnel are unable to be fired by the VA secretary. Uh, whether or not uh, any president appoints them, they do not have the authority currently under law to fire these executive managers. Uh, that's unacceptable. If it were a private entity or private health care, then it would certainly remove non-performing people. Instead, in our uh, bureaucratic system, they get bonuses. No matter what type of safeguards you put on or what new laws that are passed, with the same management, isn't it still going to be as corrupt as it is now? If you have uh, you know, a new VA secretary that is able to come in, uh, like we see the current one, he was the former uh, CEO of Procter & Gamble. He certainly has a lot of experience, the one that's been nominated. And, and so he probably has a good idea about non-performing regional managers. If he has the authority extended that heads could roll for non-performance, I guarantee you people will either shape up or ship out. The, the money that they spent on the raises for the management, if they had dedicated that to actually helping the veterans, I think a lot of the scandal that we're seeing would have fallen by the wayside. I don't know your thoughts on that. Too often people think that this is a money issue and if we just throw more money at the problem it will fix it and, and we've seen that that is not the case. In fact. The VA budget increased by hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in the last 15 years, and yet you know, we've not seen the care improve. Uh, in fact, we've seen scandals. So it's not a monetary amount per se. It is you know, proper uh, organization and proper leadership of the VA. That that is uh, paramount. And Colonel Steve Russell, good luck in the uh, congressional race yes. down there in Oklahoma. We we wish you the best of luck. And uh, we appreciate you joining us on American Medicine Today. When we return, we'll speak with Dinesh D'Souza, New York Times bestselling author and critically acclaimed filmmaker of America. Imagine the world without her. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail.